Hello and welcome back to ERA Blue Diamond Realty's video blog. I'm your host Richard Bridges with the Bridges team and uh, the topic for today is walkthroughs. Um, walkthroughs are an extremely important necessary part of any purchase uh, purchase process of a home. Um, the walkthroughs are usually conducted towards the end of the process. I generally do them the day of settlement before closing. If you can't do it uh, before closing, then I usually try and do it the uh, the night before uh, so that I can go through and check three very important things. The three things that you want to look for when you go into the walkthrough are, first, you want to verify that the property has all of the items that were agreed to stay or convey with the property per the sales contract are in fact still in the property. Uh, an example would be uh, a freezer in the garage. So you have you know, your refrigerator in the kitchen, you have an extra freezer out in the garage per the sales contract the purchaser requested that that convey. The seller agreed to it, but lo and behold, you do your final walk through the day of settlement and it's gone. So there was obviously a breakdown or miscommunication somewhere. The seller took that and not realizing it had also had agreed to leave that or convey it with the sales contract with the property at settlement. So that would be something that you'd want to address. And obviously if you hadn't addressed that or done the walkthrough, then it would be much more difficult to get that item back after closing because you've already settled on the property and you have very little leverage to convince them to give you something that they had agreed to at uh, in the sales contract. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to look for when you go in and do your walkthrough with your real estate agent is that the home inspection items that was agreed upon between the buyer and the seller uh, per the home inspection contingency were repaired and replaced in the manner that was agreed upon in the home inspection contingency. So if you had five items that you had requested to be repaired or replaced, with, by a certified uh, contractor, then you need to inspect to make sure that those items were taken care of and obviously verify that there are receipts to show that a certified contractor did the repairs. So that's something, that's the second thing that usually we look for in the walkthroughs. And finally, the third thing that you're gonna wanna look for is that the property is in the same condition or better as it was when you wrote the purchase agreement. Obviously, the, own, the seller of the property still owns the property up until the settlement date. Therefore, it's their responsibility to maintain the property in the status quo or better condition than it was when you wrote the contract on the property. So if you go in there and something's broken during the uh, during the long negotiation and, and uh, closing process for the home purchase, you need to go in there and obviously go back and have the seller either give you some sort of uh, credit towards those repair items or to actually go in and have those items uh, fixed or replaced uh, before you go to settlement or put into escrow so that it can be handled after settlement. But those are three very, very important things to remember when buying a home and doing your walkthrough. And I know a lot of agents kind of skip over that process because it's just kind of, it's redundant, you do it all the time, but I can't, I can't express enough how important it is and how vital it is because I, you know, a, a situation I had just about a month ago doing a walkthrough, there was a windstorm a couple days before closing and the whole left side of the house, the gutters had been blown off. Well, obviously if we hadn't conducted a walkthrough and settled on that property, we would have been a fight to get those sellers to repair that once the purchaser showed up at our new house and uh, realized the gutters were missing. So that was something that we had addressed. The seller agreed to fix it and they fixed it and we went to settlement. So um, that's just a, a prime example of why walkthroughs are extremely necessary uh, to protect your buyers and for you buyers to protect yourselves. Um, again, this is Richard Bridges. I'm your host again. I appreciate you guys tuning in today and uh, listening to my thoughts on walkthroughs. If you have questions, concerns, comments, I'd love to hear them. Go to our website, check us out, www.thebridgesteam.com. Or if you'd like to uh, contact us directly, you can try us on our toll-free number, 888-55-B-TEAM. And lastly but not least, I'd like to uh, give a congratulations out to my client, Donna Shaw, who after two and a half long years of looking and writing contracts and negotiating, is finally settling on her new home today at five o'clock. So congratulations, Donna. Thanks for uh, persevering through all this time with me, and, uh, and I appreciate your business. Thanks a lot, guys, and until next time, take care.